What's up, Perfectly Average Golfers? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Alan with you, with Andy, still with us here today. What up? We are playing a two-man scramble down in the northwest side of Greenville in Pickens, a place called The Rock, a gem out here. Absolutely beautiful course. And we're about to jump into the back nine. We were plus two from the front nine as a collective two-man scramble. Pretty good. Had a couple of birdies, a couple of pars, only a couple of bogeys really to worry about. So getting into the back nine, things become just a little bit tighter but you definitely can get rewarded by hitting good shots because some of the holes are pretty darn approachable. So that said, we're gonna jump right into it. I'll be playing off the black tees in the very back and we'll be playing a little bit further up from the white tees overall. So that's what we got going on, let's get at it. So last I played this hole, I striped the driver and then got a pitching wedge within two feet of the hole. Let's see if we can do that again. Low and right. Oh. And it came back. Hey, the chef was right. Oh, no. Got that so low. It's gonna run. <laughs> My shot hit the trees, came right out, giving us 251 in. Got five wood. One way of staying in the fairway. I don't think this is the way the designer drew up the hole, but it's the way that we're playing it. All right. Definitely playing this a bit interesting. We've got 93, three quarter swing. Hopefully, get something up there close. Get up. We're taking yours. Yep. Wait, you're you're really playing this hole well. Ooh, go. Alan. Oh. <laughs> Chip game is on point today. I haven't contributed anything to this hole besides uh, looking good, so <laughs> I'd like to get something closer, though I don't know if I can at this point. Run back down. Get in there. <laughs> yeah, you can get it closer. It lipped. Alan. It lipped. God, I just want to miss this to smite the hell out of this hole. <laughs> there you go. So uh, let's go ahead and wipe that from our memories one time. <laughs> oh no, that's too much right there. That's so funny. Like, we deserve that. Yeah, like, we, we, yeah we, we deserve a plus two on that hole for sure. <laughs> the only shot we hit that was good was the chip. <laughs> Both of our chips, everything else was pretty damn bad. So plus two brings us to plus four overall. <laughs> All right, par three coming up here. 165 down the hill, teed up, get a nine iron. And short. I think it landed into the sand. Light on the ball, though. Yeah. Bruh. Oh. Short. Damn tree. All right, so we're past pin high. I thought I would have been in the sand, but it's actually not a terrible look here. Uh, the lie could be better, but it's not going to make too much of a difference. Just got to try to lift this thing. It should go a little bit right to left. So I'm just trying to put this about four feet on the green. Hopefully it kind of trickles over towards the hole. Ooh. Now, when you say four feet on the green, it's not four feet closer to the green. Ooh. Got a putt of it. Dead straight, bud. Nice. 
pick that up for me real quick? Yeah, thanks. Okay. All right, we've got about 245 to the corner here and then 273-ish to get back over to the green for this par five. Lengthy one, tough one. We're gonna three wood here off the get-go. It's gonna aim for the furthest tree out and in towards the center. Hold. Oh yeah. Oh, that'll do just nice. Yeah. I've always wanted to know what it feels like to have a decent swing and attack the hell out of the ball, so I guess we'll find out, right? Wow, you smacked that. All right, we got about 300 yards here. I think I may have misread the GPS a little bit. I think it was closer to 270 right there, 240 to here, so <laughs> that makes more sense. I got three wood again, though. Haven't, hit, haven't been hitting this well off the deck, but if there's ever a time. Go. That'll be all right. Yeah. Caught that really low in the face, but hey, it's in play. Yeah. It went forward. It went forward. <laughs> I put that so far back in my stance. I deserve that. All right, we got about 60 yards on the nail here. And with that, I've got Andy's 60 degree wedge. What could possibly go wrong first time hitting this? The answer is we could fit it into the street. But we're just gonna give it a nice, easy, gentle three quarter swing and hopefully it gets up there and spins back a little bit. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you know, that is fat. Try. <laughs> so we're over two when Alan puts pressure on me to make these kind of shots. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just in this video. Oh, it's thin. Sit. It's okay. Really good too. Completely missed my line. Hey. Part up, baby. <laughs> Not bad overall. I think uh, outside of the fact that I kind of misread the distance off the tee box, two good three woods. Obviously for me a bad 60, but still able to get up and down and save par. Well, not really up and down. It was like an up and down and down. <laughs> All right, big par four. Small dog leg to the right. A lot of space left, the miss is left. So if we slice something into the woods, pack it up. Right, I'll hit I'll hit that provisional here. There it is. Nice. Good shot. All right. So after the provisional, which we just hit like 320 yards, casual I guess. I don't know. We've got about 100 yards. It's like a back to left pin position. I've got sandwich here. If I can get this up and down, to be great. You're trying to save bogey, since this is our four shot, technically speaking. A little right, but it looks good. Nice shot. I'll take that all day long, bro. Send to win. Well, that is the second time on this course that I've been screwed by a friend. <laughs> That's tough.
Yeah, no. Andy, gotta hit it, man. Well, if it wasn't for the first two shots going out of bounds and us hitting a bomb-ass provisional lap, it would have been a par. It would have been a solo par, actually. Uh, so we're going to count the double, though, because that's the rules. <laughs> Although I think mentally I'm going to count that as a par because reasons. And uh, we're going to go on to the next. Uh, the, there's a lot of water that starts to come into play here near the back. Little creeks and stuff like that. Uh, this creek, actually, if you watch the front nine, uh, we didn't really get a lot of look at the waterfall, but this is the same creek that comes from that same waterfall. So it's like a really cool uh, and well-designed course that keeps the features like in play the entire time, which is awesome. So let's go on to the next, see if we can make a shot back here. All right, we got 140-ish to the middle. Pulling a tee box up because the back tee box are not going to the green, plus the tee box is in generally not great condition. There's a nice little mat right here that we can use. So we're going to use that. I've got pee wedge. long. Hit it well though. <laughs> I, mean, I was gonna hit an A. You, you, you just soared that green so I'm gonna hit my P wedge. Which means I gotta hit this pretty cleanly. Which uh, if, you, if you know me that doesn't happen too often so. Oh. That hellish right there. Gotta put it. Yeah I'm gonna play this pretty straight. Roll. Whoa. Half a cup. Left or right. Mm -hmm. Too much. Hit the flag. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Holy. I haven't been doing anything on this back nine and it finally comes through. Let's go, baby. Oh, let's go, man. Let's go. That was a hell of a putt. How long was that? Long. <laughs> it's like 30 feet. You, you you hit it hard enough to where it took that little bit of break out of it, and it just, it was, oh, yeah, let's go. Get on the hole, man. Let's go. <laughs> I can't even mad because my putt was really good, too. That was a hell of a way to finish off and get a birdie back. All right, after the bombed birdie, we've got a little bit of a weird split fairway situation coming up. Water in the front, fairway, water behind. Also water left. The mist, though, is left. If I can find a way to just have a subtle fade, kind of go over right towards that little outhouses, we should be good. So I'm gonna hit driver. Might be a little bit greedy, but I think we should be able to get there okay. I don't know if that's gonna hang. Hold on. Hold on. <gasps> it's close. It's a little bit further left than where I wanted to go, but it's close. Well, let's hope you're staying in play because that crank was not. Drive stayed in play. Perfect distance. Got about 180 left. Out of the rough, I've got six iron because this is sitting up a little bit. And I think I can actually get some pretty good contact on this. Let's see. Go. Short. By about 20 yards. That was not... That was not it. All right, so we were about, I don't know, maybe not 20 yards short. Well, 20 from the pin, about 10 from the ideal landing location. So we have to get up and down here for park. Not bad. Sat pretty hard. It's a little squishy down in this back nine so far. Wow. Yeah. A little soft. Got this coming a little bit right to left. Not much though. Up the hill. I got it right edge, just inside. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that seems right. That's, that's straight. That's I also straight. pushed it a little bit. Okay. 
not a terrible bogey to have with a couple of misreads on the putts. One was a little bit of a push. The other I think it was a little bit of overcorrection, but very pretty hole. So bogey there, on to the next. All right, par four, a great drive. We'll give you about a hundred yards in. So it's a small dog leg right. We're kind of going right at the barren tree, right up the middle here. The miss is definitely going to be on the right side, so yeah. That's the miss. Hold on right there. You should come back down. I didn't see it bounce, but it should be okay. You cleared that mound. Yeah, yeah, it should be okay. I didn't hit more trees than that. I mean, I finesse like in between all the trees too. I mean, like... <laughs> all right, so we couldn't find my shot. Must have gone out of play in some of these shrubs and stuff like that. There's a big, big steep slope though. So we're kind of taking a drop closer towards the flatter part of the ground. Hidden three at about 105. But didn't sandwich pretty well today. So I'm gonna stick with that. short. Hit it well though. It's great. A little short. But the course management today, but the car paths have been on point. <laughs> Alright, so this is our par chip right here. Definitely makeable. Just gotta get something to cover the slope. I'm gonna try to get this to release a little bit here too. Play a little bit off the back foot. Wow, it didn't curve at all. Wow. I'm not doing anything. Eh, it's all right. Doing anything. <laughs> I'm getting carried. Moral support. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Everything besides driver has been feeling really good today. Driver, we had I think maybe two or three shots that were like, hey, that's what it's supposed to do. Everything else has been like super slicey. So if we can try to maybe figure that out here in the last couple of holes, I don't know, I feel pretty good about today overall. Let's get at it. Alright, bit of a green light here. There is water right. Some trees left, the miss is definitely left, but I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm really gonna go at this one. If it holds, it's great. I see it. A nice shot. I think we're okay. Nice shot. All right, Alan's in play. I don't have this. <laughs> Huh? So we hope. Should be good, but... Alan's hopefully in play, so... <laughs> wow. Oop. Well, that one came out, so... It's in play. Well, I saw mine bounce, but I think it may have bounced through the rough into the water. So we got a drop, hit three. Sand wedge, about 100 yards. Get something close. Caught that pretty poor behind the ball. Just slightly off the green. That was uh, not a great shot. Pin high, just left. Got options. All right, we're taking Andy's because he's just got a better look at the pin. He was uh, just a little bit short of pin high, but a pretty good shot overall. I was a little bit off the green, kind of at a weird slope. So this is playing pretty flat by the look of it. Just trying to get something close here. Definitely give this a bit of a run. That's not enough. Wait. Oh, that's actually too much. Caught it pretty thin. I thought it was gonna skip and die. What am I doing, <laughs> man? Here's your putter. <laughs> Whoa. 
Well, I pulled that and I hit it way too hard. Holy. Great putt. <laughs> Great putt, bro. Oh. Great putt. Oh. Let me get that for you. There you go. <laughs> Contributing. Contributing. That is a huge save. All right, 18, par five. It's like high 400s, 480 or something. The miss is left. I've said that a couple times today. Straighter. Yeah, still gonna be out of play though. Is that great? Yeah. Are you gonna come down? <laughs> Alright, didn't hang. At least not that we've been able to see. Got 185, hidden three. Might be a little difficult to see the flag. It's kind of in between that small tree and the bigger one to the left of it. I got six iron here. I'm feeling confident with the six iron today. Right at it if it's long enough. Oh. Short. Rolled up to the front though. I didn't catch it perfect. Some contact. Lots of green to play with. Tight lie. It's calling for a little bump and run ski. Gotta get up and down for par. Hit it a little bit wider than I want to do. Great shot. Thank you. Blade. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, for par, baby. I like it right edge. I love it right edge. <laughs> All right, perfectly average golfers. The full 18 hole two man scramble ends with a plus eight. Uh, so it gets us right on the nose with an 80. It's actually not that bad overall. I mean, there were some good parts of the day, some bad parts of the day. Uh, driver for me was pretty wonky all day long. A couple of really solid ones, but mostly we're still slicing the ball. I don't think we drew the ball a single time today, which is curious, but leaves us something to figure out. Iron game for me was actually really solid today, I thought. Uh, and then Andy with the putts today. Putting is everything for me. That's the only thing I, can't, uh, I was able to tribute throughout the entirety of the scramble if you watch part one and part two you get to see a couple of my birdies but like we got a lot to figure out of the range <laughs> lot to figure out. hey we're all staying perfectly average out here that much is for sure but a really fun two-man scramble hope you guys enjoyed that coming up tomorrow for us a couple of days for you guys we're going to be going out to sapphire national in the deep west side of the smoky mountains it's going to be unbelievable it's only a par 70 and only plays like 6300 from the back so um i imagine it's going to be very tight <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of trees a lot of ridges and things like that but it's supposed to be absolutely unreal so we'll be jumping out there probably doing a course vlog style but we'll see how things go uh, so make sure you subscribe ring the notification bell so that way you know when all these videos do pop up until next point hope you guys out there stay perfectly average Bye bye